Good morning guys, welcome to the next day in Hawaii. So it's a little bit of a sad day today because we're leaving our resort here in Maui. We're actually headed off to Oahu very shortly. We're gonna be calling an Uber and taking it to the airport. We've had an awesome, awesome time here so far in, the, in Maui. Weather's been amazing. Today it's a little bit sad because it's like the biggest waves of the whole week today, so it would've been fun to go swimming in the ocean and play in them a little bit. That's okay, we had a lot of fun anyways in the waves that we swam in. We're all packed up now, hotel room is spotless. Checked all the drawers. We didn't forget anything. So we're just gonna head down to the lobby now and then call ourselves an uber And I'll show you guys our little trip today. It's not a long flight over to Oahu I think it's like 30 45 minutes in the it's, air. I think it's like 20 Five minutes exactly. It's like really not long, so we'll show you guys that little short airplane ride. Goodbye, hotel. Bye. 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 This is the last time we're gonna walk down this cool entranceway. Oh well. This hotel was really one of the nicest places I've ever stayed, though. It was just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Everything was amazing. It's cool. We didn't get to see the airport on the way here during the day, so now we're here during the day and it looks completely different. That's such a nice, simple trip through security. Very smooth, well organized, efficient. Ran really, really, really well. So look at how fancy our lunch is. Very, very fancy. It's, I got go fries. it's going with the theme of what we've had all weekend with like the fresh tacos and all the good stuff. Now we're getting like the burger and the chicken nuggets. Really, really good. Oh, I am full now. That was a pretty good lunch. So we need to find gate 13. We're making our way to our gate now, guys. Still got loads of time, not in any rush. So we found it. Gate 13. There's a whole bunch of gate 13s on the screen, so we got confused for a second, but I think it's because they like speed the planes through. It's like they just take off and they keep going and they reuse the same gate over and over again. Where it's like most bigger airports we've been to, there's a longer time between reusing gates. So Alex has this cool little tradition she does every time she gets on a plane, she has to touch the outside. Honestly, because of the shade first. And I never used to do that until she started doing it, and then she wanted me to do it, and I don't really care, but I do it because it's great. Like years ago, before I started YouTube, I obviously watched the shade cards like most people on YouTube did, um, or still do, and every time I traveled, they'd always touch the outside of the plane, and then when I started traveling, doing that now I just can't do it I make everybody do it and I get mad at them if they don't I'm like go back and touch it no, although can't. one plane ride we took to Greece last year she didn't do it and I told her afterwards that she didn't she, do it he didn't tell me before I got on I didn't tell I her I told her after the plane was done and we were like in the hotel I was like hey do you remember you didn't touch the plane that time Guys, we made it. One, Alex, two, three. You said we took off at 44. Um, 12:44, and landed. We landed at 1:11. No, we landed at 1:02. We, yeah, we landed at 1:02. So 18 minutes was the flight from like up until touch. 18 minutes. We made it into the hotel, guys, and it's actually very, very nice. Yeah, let me get my bags off. Oh, it feels good. We got laid. We, we never got flower ones. Alex got laid. <laughs> Non-flower one though. The room is massive, really, really nice. Nice entranceway with a little kitchen. Little kitchenette in case we want to do any cooking or anything. And then we have this massive, gorgeous bathroom. This is what I'm excited about. That's a very deep tub. That's going to be nice to take some baths in. Oh so, yeah, we're staying at the Trump. Donald Trump. Guys, look at this. The hotel just sent us up a thing. They asked us when we got in how long we'd been together. <laughs> so we were like, uh, three and a half years? No, I was like almost four years. Yeah, almost four years. And so they sent us this thing, happy fourth anniversary, with some chocolates and sparkling water and some cookies. <laughs> yeah, so he's like, oh, do you drink alcohol? We're like, no. Yeah, exactly. They asked us if we drank alcohol. We were like, no, we don't drink. So and then Dad made a joke of saying, we I don't drink any <laughs> beverages. We don't even drink water. I said, we don't drink any liquid ever. And he <laughs> laughed. But then they sent us up all this stuff because it's our, apparently our fourth anniversary. That's why we're here. So we just came down to go for a little walk to go check out what the beach is like. We rented a car for tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning we rented a car so we could drive up to the North Shore and go check out like the huge waves and all that nice scenery and 50 stuff. 50 foot. Did we say that already? No, but people were telling us that it, like yesterday or the day before there were 40, 50 foot waves up on the North Shore. So 
That's we want to go. We want to go see that. Wow, it's hot here. Nice beach so far, though. Wow, yeah, look at the back. Wow, that's a cool view right there. Let's get around this little surf shop. Look at that with the mountain. This beach looks like Mexico or Miami or something. Wow, look at how nice that is. Definitely get more of a tourist vibe here though. And less of like a resort and like vacation. Yeah, but we do that. Yeah, this is like way more touristy. It really feels like Miami or something like that. It's really nice though. I just saw some crabs run over the edge there. Oh, look, they're right there. Oh, I almost got splashed. There's crabs right there on the wall. There's a little pause between the beaches and you have to walk along this little path here. The water's right there. Pretty cool. So guys, I think we found the real Waikiki Beach. Look at how crowded it is. Oh my god. Some people might like this, like the whole party scene, like yeah, touristy definitely. thing. Yeah, definitely. I know a lot of people that would. Some people would love that, but just for, for me and for you, we definitely prefer like the secluded privacy. Like, just look at this. It's like there's just people everywhere, you know? You, you can't sit two feet without having people on you. Whoa. The water's coming up high, too. So we walked along the beach for a little bit. It was just crowded the whole way down. We thought we, thought we could get to somewhere more secluded with like palm trees, but we didn't end up finding I anything. I like we're sounding very complaining, but like we're not. I no, 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 it's gorgeous. It's really beautiful. The view is, is amazing and it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous here. We're not complaining, we're just... Different than what we like. Yeah, it's just different than what we like, but it's still ABC's gorgeous. Store. If you like going to a place that is still like tropical and far away but you still have the feeling of home like if you're let's yeah, say you like having like more a, like city you know you have like mcdonald's and everything around you shops you have like designer stores down the street like then this is a place for you and like more party atmosphere yeah but we we both prefer like a more secluded naturey like, like privacy it's mcdonald's literally right yeah. there as i was talking about it as she's talking about mcdonald's there's literally one right there not sponsored <laughs> Look at that weird tree. I don't know if it, you can't really see it because of the sun right now. It's a little bit dark. If any of you know what kind of tree that is, let us know because that's a really cool looking tree. Oh, look at this, look at this. That's so cool. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> guys, I just bought new sunglasses. How cute to see. Just they were cool. I like them at Urban. Oh, yeah. I bought a new pair. And then I bought some like no-show socks because the shoes that I bought are like super low cut. And I wanted like socks to wear so I don't get blisters, but I don't want the socks to show. We found this cool little like park thing right here in the middle of the street. This is like the Honolulu Central Park. Actually a Pretty cool. Yeah, it's like it's part of the shopping mall I think because there's a walkway upstairs and there's an escalator right there But again, that's so cool that part of the shopping mall is outdoors Look at that. that is like a jungle we would never in a million years have a mall with a partial outdoor setting so cool wow. It's beautiful here. It's just full of nature Really cool. Guys, ridiculous sunsets here. Holy crap, look at this. I don't even know if you picked this up on camera, but this sky color right now. Yeah, you literally cannot see anything on is camera. Is unbelievable. Whoa. The whole sky is just pink. See a little cruise ship over there by the sunset and a sailboat. Look at that. Look at how beautiful it is. Get in here. Look at this. Oh. Gorgeous. I'm having that small moment of like reflection of just feeling so lucky like The fact that my feet are standing right here and like this is where we're standing tonight watching this. I just feel so lucky I'm gonna zoom in on this cruise ship guys Cruise ship and sailboat. Oh, that's cool Look at that. Wow. That's really cool, eh? Guys look at the mountain right now dun, 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 <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> so I decided to stay zoomed in. We hope tomorrow we see some uh, like dinosaurs or Jurassic Park things. Ooh, thanks for that. <laughs> so whenever I come to the States, and I know Alex is the same, and when we come together for sure, we have to go to all the good American restaurants. And good. Well, good in terms of like taste and just like. Not good. 
like popular. Yeah, popular, I guess. Well, they're I, not like not good. It's just I find not them. Good. I find them good. They're not high end. They're no. just good. Like they're. It's not like American. I would like, be like a like a, a good quality food place. It's just like tasty. Like. Yeah, it's just like a, a an American restaurant. That's good. Um, so we have to go, and we walked by today, Cheesecake Factory. So when we came back up to the room, we were like, "What do you want to do for dinner?" And we were both kind of like, "Cheesecake Factory." So we walked down, ordered it for pickup, and I'll show you what we got. So I got the everything pizza, which is everything. <laughs> it's got like a whole bunch of toppings, sausage, pepperoni, uh, mushroom, peppers, onions, bunch of good stuff. Alex got the nachos, which are called the famous factory nachos, because I think they're supposed to be really, really good. Oh yeah, look at how good those look. Oh. They look really tasty. I get them every time I go to LA at the Grove. With the little dipping sauces. And then I got an Oreo cheesecake for dessert. I'll show it to you guys after we're done. I showed them in my vlog, I think, when I was in LA with Lauren and Catherine. Catherine got it and she's lactose intolerant. And she was like, screw it, whatever, because the Oreo cheesecake was so big and it was like ridiculously huge. You'll see in a second. And she ate like the whole thing and then she was so sick all night. <laughs> That's so funny. But she she knew it was gonna happen. It was funny. Guys, what is this? They give you like the smallest piece of cake ever. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Not. Nah. That's the size of my hand. That's the size of the cake. Why do Americans eat so much food? That's the size of the Oreo. It's like bigger than my finger. Literally though, Dan. Like, why are the por portions in America so big? Portions are always bigger in America. Why? Seems like I don't know. Like, okay, obviously Canada is not that much different. But I feel like you come to the states and you let's say they're Olive still, Garden. They're still a little bigger. It's like the a little bit bigger. But hey, I'm hey. not. I'm not complaining. Yeah, you're not complaining because you can eat a freaking hotel if you wanted to. A hotel. I could eat a <laughs> hotel. Hotel motel. All right, guys. So I'm gonna end the video for today here. I hope you enjoyed our first day here in Oahu. The beach was very different than Maui, but it was very, very nice. The sunset was gorgeous, and walking down that main street with all the shopping centers was really, really cool. Felt like a little bit of a big city, a little bit of a different vibe. I really enjoyed it. It's cool that you're on like the same state. Yeah. It's so different. Yeah, we're in like the same state and not really far away but it's super different so that was really cool what we're gonna do today to end the video on a positive note is I'm gonna offer you guys another challenge and it's a challenge we did a while ago in one of my first videos but I think it's a good one and there's a lot of new people here who might not have done this challenge but I'm gonna challenge you guys to go out and tell one person you know what actually let's make it a little bit bigger you're gonna go and tell two people two people in your life that mean a lot to you that are special to you that are important to you that you love that you care about you're gonna choose two people in your life like that and you're gonna go tell them just how much they mean to you, okay? That's gonna be our challenge for today. Make sure that they know that they're loved and they're cared for and that they mean something special to you, okay? So I hope you guys go out and do that challenge. I hope you had an awesome, awesome day today. I love you. Oh, see, Alex is already doing the challenge. Good job. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any of the videos this year. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.